Hey guys, I've got another one of these really puzzling missing persons cases to bring you today. The man on your screen is Gary Watson Shearer. He's 53 years of age and he went missing in March of this year while on holiday in Lanzarote, which is a Spanish island. Gary flew from his home in Renfrew, which is in Scotland, to Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. It belongs to Spain, but it's just off the coast of the uh, West Sahara, West Saharan Desert. So what happened? So what do we know about Gary's case? Well, he'd flown to Lanzarote to Puerto del Carmen ahead of the St. Patrick's Day celebrations on Thursday, March 16th. But he was only reported missing after failing to check in for his return flight. He'd gone over there on his own to have a good time. CCTV sightings of Gary on that night showed him in a jovial mood and mixing with a group of six or so people inside a bar. What is concerning is Gary suffers from epilepsy and type 2 diabetes. So there's a real concern for his safety because he's not taking his medication. This is Gary. 53, last seen in bar 67, 5 foot 3, grey to black hair, walks with a distinctive limp, was last seen wearing a green and white Celtic football club top. Gary's sister, Michelle Shearer, told the Glasgow Times, our world has been torn apart and we can't sleep or function properly because we fear the worst. The past seven weeks, so this was written in May, the past seven weeks have been a living nightmare and we had to accept or come to terms with the likelihood that Gary is no longer alive. We know he needs daily medication and he wouldn't be able to survive this amount of time without it. We know he's on the island somewhere, but we just don't know exactly where. It's tearing us apart and our mum Anne's weight has gone down to six stone and she's on sleeping tablets and medication to help her stay calm. We are all struggling to process how he could just vanish without a trace. And we've cried so many tears because we just miss him so much. Someone must know something. And with each week that passes, we know in our hearts that something terrible has happened. So the family established that Gary had left his passport and his money in a safe in his apartment. So he's not gone off the island. He's not, I don't know, had some kind of crisis and took the first flight out of there. He couldn't get off the island, right? No passport. And he just took 70 euros out with him to go out for a few drinks. So the family have been to Lanzarote to search, to put up posters. They've got people out there who are putting up posters for them. They've done their own inquiries. And uh, this is what Michelle says. We were contacted by an Irishman who said he had seen Gary, but he was pretty drunk. He tried to get him into a taxi, but the driver refused to take him. Yeah, they do that here as well. He told us that he was worried about the state Gary was in and even went back to the apartment the following day to ask the receptionist if he'd made it back okay. He's upset at what has happened and was in tears when he was talking to us. The family were also contacted by a lady who said she saw Gary lying unconscious in the doorway of a shoe shop near to the bar. CCTV shows that Gary never crossed that part of the main road to the beach. What we need to know is how he just disappeared into thin air. Someone must know what happened to Gary and we are not getting any answers. We'll keep pushing the Spanish police and we'll be heading out in a few weeks to conduct more searches on the island. He is there somewhere, but we now accept he's no longer likely to be alive. So police in Spain have asked anyone who has information on Gary's whereabouts to contact them. A spokesman for the Spanish Guardia Civil who are investigating the case, says it's doing all it can to solve the mystery. The authorities say that the probe is under the control of a court, as is normal practice in Spain in these circumstances, which means the amount of information that can be released to the public is limited. The spokesman said the local police are carrying out inquiries into Gary's disappearance and haven't stopped their work. 
We met with the family when they arrived in Lanzarote and we are updating the British consulate when we can. The investigation is going to take time. However, we are moving forward. Well, clearly not very quickly because Gary is still missing. It is uh, Friday 8th of September, as I record this. The only further update that has come out is this mysterious fellow here, this guy. So the family back in August released CCTV footage on their Facebook page, which I'll show you in a second. Gary is walking with a man. CCTV caught this man and Gary walking together. So walking together, not collapsed in a doorway, walking together on March 17th on Avenida Las Playas and Avenida Italia. The male is described as being between 60 and 70 years old with a strong complexion, I don't know what strong complexion means, and grey hair. He was wearing a light brown sports jacket, white shirt and long dark pants. This is the dude. Darcy Shearer, Gary's niece, previously told the Daily Record that the family were contacted by police on August the 4th about the sighting but were unable to share the footage at the time. She said police contacted us on Friday, say the footage shows Gary with another man and they're unsure if this is a brief encounter or more. They were looking to get it released to the press, so it has but now been released. That's Gary. All right, let's go to the old Mapio. Right, so he was seen partying at bar 67 to a bar and grill all right so this is a vida las playas which is right next to the beach but his sister has said that the cctv that they've received um showed that he didn't cross the road up to the beach now you see that is straight onto the beach. I would be very, very worried about that beach. I have checked tide times actually for this day, March 16th into 17th, and the tide was on its way out at like 1.30 in the morning, which is dangerous because it's pulling things outwards. But that CCTV caught him going this way then this is a Vida Talia. Then he's going inland. And that's the spa shop that he was seeing near. He was seeing near this spa shop here, which is very close. The bar's along this stretch here. So he walked along here with this man and then walked along here with this man. So was walking inland, not out to the beach. Now, obviously, could have gone in and then come back. If he came back along the same road, surely the same camera would have caught him. Now, I'm not sure where his apartment is. So whether him and this guy were going back to his apartment and something happened, or whether they were going back to the guy's apartment and something happened, I mean, these streets are just apartments, apartments, apartments. Uh, imagine if you're not familiar with these streets. If you were wandering around here on your own. Now, it was with a guy, but it could have been just a brief encounter. They could have just been having a chat. But if he tried to get to his apartment on his own... Maybe he got lost. Because a lot of these streets, they just look the same because they're all white. But they'd find him, wouldn't they? Right? It's, look how densely packed it is. Look how densely packed these streets are. You know, this is like a holiday place. So... Oh, don't let me go down there. <laughs> all right, then. So, unless he wandered and wandered and wandered and lost and came back to the beach and then fell in the sea if not that then he's somewhere inland or he went to an apartment
So this is the Help Find Gary Shearer Facebook page. It is a private group. It's very informative. So this is the two pictures together of the man from the back and the man from the front. Uh, August 14th, Michelle said, being confirmed today, Gary was last seen outside Spa at 1.15 on the night he went missing. So that spa that I showed you just before. So who's this mysterious man? Who is he? He could be just a holiday maker that is unaware that all this is going down. I guess that could be possible. You know, this guy might not check the internet. Might not be a true crime aficionado. It's perfectly possible that this guy has absolutely no idea that he's being looked for. So share, share, share. Share Gary's images as far and wide as you can. This is Gary, 53, uh, Celtic FC fan. So that's the Celtic FC colours. He was wearing a Celtic shirt. Five foot three, grey black hair, walks with a distinctive limp. He has a tattoo on his neck, was last seen wearing a green and white Celtic top. But he is on Lanzarote somewhere. Lanzarote's not a big island, but much of it isn't inhabited. Is that a volcano? What's that? You've like got these party areas, and then you've got a lot of places that are not inhabited. But he's there somewhere. Oh, he's in the sea. And if he's in the sea... Could have washed up on the shores of the West Sahara Desert. Have you been to Lanzarote between March 16th and now? Been to Lanzarote, lots of UK people go to Lanzarote. It's a common holiday destination for people in the UK. Have you seen Gary? Alright guys, that's all. See you soon.